Welcome back. Now, sports persons struggling with their careers due to the lackadaisical attitude of officials is nothing new in India. In the process, the athlete concerned is often forced to sacrifice his or her career. NDTV's Suprata Das gets you this special report on Rajkumar Tiwari, the first Indian ice skater to win an international gold medal, but not the first whose dreams of representing India at the Winter Olympics one day may just remain that of a dream. <laughs> New Delhi's Sadar Bazar area, enchanting for some, overcrowded for most. But it's hardly the kind of place you'd expect to find a gold medal winning athlete. Son of a street hawker from this area, Rajkumar Tiwari has been reduced to selling goods to try and replicate his achievement of becoming the first Indian to win a gold medal at an international figure skating event. His feat came in last year's Special Olympics, which is a competition meant for those with intellectual disabilities. Rajkumar, who was diagnosed with moderate mental retardation at an early age, won a gold in the singles event and a silver in pairs. The 21-year-old's bid to win more medals for the country has come to a halt because of lack of funds. Rajkumar is now competing in regular events and needs 70,000 rupees for a tournament in Malaysia next month. But so far, he hasn't managed to arrange any funds. The ice skating rink is where Rajkumar should ideally be, but to be able to afford a practice session at that ice skating rink, this is the place he has to come to every day. To assist his father in the little shop they have on this street, which is pretty much the only source of income for the family of seven. This one-room house is where his family stays. Needless to say, the combined family income of about 6,000 rupees is not enough. The nearest ice skating rink for Raj Kumar is in Gurgaon, where an hour of training costs him 480 rupees. He has been getting a concession after his medals at the Special Olympics, but it's still a luxury. Which is why he has to stick to roller skating instead most of the time. Helpful neighbors and a cooperative landlord chipped in and funded his trips to South Korea and Australia last year. But even they have their limitations. Rajkumar को लेकर के हमने दिल्ली के मुख्यमंत्री सीएम को भी एक लेटर लिखा कि जब हम उनके ऑफिस गए तो पूरा तीन घंटा इंतजार करने के बाद भी वो हमसे नहीं मिले आश्वासन सभी देते हैं लेकिन सहायता करने के लिए कोई भी आगे नहीं आता है repeated letters to the sports minister haven't been of any use but why isn't the ice skating association sponsoring rajkumar's trip like the other federations do as we found out they are not even affiliated to the sports ministry and hence have no access to the funds reserved for athletes. We had applied for the recognition as a national sports federation with the Ministry of Sports long back in the year 2006. They have been uh, somehow putting it off. They said we will consider it, we will see it. Just say, they have a chance to see it. Once you support it, see it. I am also a medal for India. And our high-five Olympics. The ball is clearly in the sports ministry's court now. Hopefully they will ensure that we do not end up losing another medal prospect. With camera person Ashwini Mehra in New Delhi, Suprita Das, NDTV. Now, if you feel you would like to contribute and help Rajkumar, you can send in your contributions to him directly through his account number that's on your screen right now. Interestingly, ever since NDTV aired the story, two corporates have already come out in support of the skater and deposited money in his account. That's all the sports news this evening. News updates continue on NDTV 24-7.